in the car and we're on our way to go pick up food for the shelter, the Elizabeth Gregory home. We do this every Wednesday, so we fill up the little Prius back here. And it is a, uh, it's gonna be a wonderful day. Also, we got electrology today, so you can see what thunder needle is. Poor torturous trans people go through just to get rid of facial hair. Anyways, plus it's a very nice day out, so take a look at that. Shipping lines there, the water's smooth as glass. Yeah, we've got the Ferris wheel. Utterly beautiful. Another Seattle beautiful day. Hello, we're here at Food Lifeline. Just want to show you something. See um, all the homeless shelters and everything else in here? This is the place. Look at that. That all goes to the different shelters and organizations within Seattle. That helps out. And now we're about to fit a bunch of boxes in Amy's little car. What do you think, Amy? How, how many boxes do you think it's we can fit in the Prius? Little. Oh, I know. It's practically a TARDIS. All right, well, I gotta get to work filling this thing up. See you in a little while. We got the car filled to the brim. <laughs> filled to the brim. What do you think, Amy? <laughs> oh, come on. It is filled. Amy, a little bit of space there that I'm having to sit on. But yeah, we fill up the car. We do about two trips. Bring it to the shelter, and they have food for the week. Hey there, I'm here at the Elizabeth Gregory House Shelter. I'm here with Michelle. Say hi, Michelle. Hi. <laughs> She's the one who runs everything behind the scenes, and today I'm we're helping deliver the food in, and pretty soon we're gonna fill this pantry up, all that good stuff. Because right now it's a little bit bare in some aspects, and it happens like that every week. And here is Valerie. Say hi, Valerie. Hi. She's the one in charge of the kitchen. Who are you talking to? Oh, it's on a video. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's nothing. Big. It's uh, I'm doing this t whole ten day challenge thing. Okay. Oh, cool. uh, and they want to know a day in my life uh, in uh, thirty days. Um, wow. So. And yeah, helping out here every Wednesday is one of them. That's great. And sometimes you cook. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I cook. Anyways, I'm going to get back to work. I am here at the Electrology Studio. I won't say which one, just to make sure, but I have my good friend here, Susan. Say hi. Hi. Susan uh, was the second one that ever, um, that I was a guinea pig for, for when she was learning Electrology. And now look at her, she has her own full business and everything. And look at her. Almost here for <laughs> Yeah. A, a, little, a little more time and we'll have all this gone. What? No! <laughs> <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> See, that's why we'll I like her. <laughs> She's like family. Um, <laughs> we, we, we rat on each other. It's great. So, it is. It's always fun when Lynette stops by. Kind of brightens up the day and gives me someone to uh, look at. Yeah, we pick on each other like sisters almost. Yeah. Speaking of sisters, her sister is working on uh, Amy currently, and I'm next in uh, on the line. <laughs> More people have had their hands on Vanessa's face than maybe any other face in Seattle. Yeah, sadly, um, I've um, been the guinea pig for uh, countless. Uh, actually, going on about thirty different people who have yeah. trained and learned to do electrology, and. You know, this one was the first, so she, was, she got this raw and untouched almost. Only Miss Gronko had it before her. Oh, and those were good times. <laughs> I think there's a video uh, somewhere uh, you were filming while I was doing electrolysis. I still have it's those. pretty good. I love that video, actually. Oh. So, yeah. I don't hear no screams in there. So we're gonna we're gonna head in there in a moment, and I'm gonna go see how things are going. Hello, I am back. I'm on the slab, and I am 
getting a bunch of stuff put all over my face. It's supposed to numb it. Supposed to. And um, my lovely friend here, Gigi, is going to start the process of electrology. <laughs> Gigi, would you like to say hello? Hi. So what are you going to be doing on me? What implements of torture will you be bestowing upon me? Well, I think we've decided that we're going we're gonna to work on your upper lip and side of your mouth and under your lower lip. Mm -hmm. But we're going to allow the numbing cream to, to work, to take effect. So in the meantime, I'm going to start working on the sides of your face and under your chin. Okay. Okay. Uh, why you do a hair? Do you mind explaining what all you're, what all is happening, so what the people here happening? can? Yeah. Um, so electrolysis is the only FDA-approved method of permanent hair removal. Um, so each individual hair grows at its own rate. So even though you may see what you think is a great deal of hair on your face right now, this typically only represents one third of the hair on your face. So what we have to do is we have to treat your hair in, in sessions. So once every four to six weeks, we can um, start treatment and wait and see what the results are. We've had really good results on your, on your upper lip. So I'm excited. I can't wait to finish this treatment so we can <laughs> see what happens. Yay. <laughs> yep, this is something that a lot of us trans people go through. It is putting a little hair-like probe into the skin. And it goes down the hair follicle. And then she presses a little button down there. Yeah, we use direct current and um, radio frequency. We use a blend technique. So it's supposed to be very effective. Unlike me right now. I'm fumbling with equipment. And what it does is it actually cauterizes the blood vessels that surround the hair follicle. And when no blood gets to the hair, it can't regrow. So you, if you're just plucking hair, they're going to grow back stronger and tougher. So this is a surefire way that they won't come back. <laughs> <laughs> Plus that's why I like Gina. We joke around a lot. So. There you go, sweetie. This is, um, see, it forms an electric current. So as I hold this, when she does the thing, it goes through my body, up through my arm, and into the wand. So. We are Let's show them at ready. least what one hair is. Get a good one. Uh, Get a good hair? Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, man. And honestly, it don't hurt that bad. Most people are like, oh, my God, it is the worst. Yeah, it's not know. that bad. This is good equipment. This is high-tech equipment, so it'll mm. be okay. Yep. Okay, let's see. Hmm, interesting. All right. Let me... You have good angle? Yep. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna get get a good one now. Get a good one. They're all good. What? I thought they were bad. That's why we we're getting rid of them. We don't want that. <laughs> there it goes in the hair. Oh. The pain. Oh, the oh hair. My God. Oh. It's horrible. Yeah, oh. No, it's fine. It really feels like, uh, it just feels like just a little sewing needle prick. Nothing more. And then she pulls it out. And voila, there it is. And that oh. is what a good extraction looks like. Yep, so you can see the bulb at the end? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. That's what electrology is, and that gets done repetitively for every hair. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta let you go, so we can do this now uh, at a better speed. So, bye-bye, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.